hi guys good morning and welcome back to my vlog channel so I'm about to get ready for the day and do my makeup yesterday my hair came and I am so happy I love it so much I put it on and I feel like me again so I'm gonna show you guys it and we're gonna put it on together but check this out so this is a halo and it's like a fishing wire yeah you just put this wire like around your hair and I got the balayage I don't know I just like I know lots of people tell me they like the dark hair on me better and then whenever I have the dark hair I love it but I just love balayage with like light highlights I don't know that hair like always catches my eye and I really like it so I'm gonna do my makeup first and then we'll put the hair in but I was wearing it yesterday and I just like felt like me again I love it so much and then I went to the gym last night and I just took it out before I went to the gym and then I washed my hair like it was so easy because before I had the hand tie sew in wefts two layers and I loved it don't get me wrong but it was a lot of work and like when I wanted to pull my hair back and it's like a slick ponytail you'd see like the tracks so it was definitely just more maintenance and with extensions like that you don't want to wash them too often like you should try and do like once a week just so like you keep the hair as healthy as possible and nice as possible because it's expensive and it's like sewn into your hair so you want to keep it really nice and then when I go to the gym and get all sweaty I'm like I can't wash my hair and yeah so I am loving having my short hair I don't love it but I love how easy it is and how I could just just wash it whenever and it takes me like two minutes to style it so guys we are on a hair growing journey and I'm gonna be taking very good care of my natural hair and trying to grow it out and make it thick again so after my shower I've been using this wow dream cocktail kale infused leave-in treatment this is for fragile and damaged hair so I've been using that when my hair is wet and then I also use like a bonding oil or some kind of oil and yeah so that's what I've been doing and then I got this new shampoo and conditioner it was really expensive so my friend gets like the cosmetology discount so she picked up the shampoo conditioner and mousse for me that I wanted because originally the shampoo and conditioner are like $50 each so a hundred dollars on shampoo and conditioner and then the mousse too I wanted since like I've been blowing out my hair more often so she got me all three for a much discounted price so I just need to get those from her and I'm gonna start using those but they're supposed to grow your hair like crazy it's like dermatology recommended and all that good stuff so once I get that I will definitely show you guys and keep you updated on how I think it's working because we're trying to grow this hair out and without like the heavy hair extensions weighing down my thin hair I feel like my hair is definitely going to get thicker and I'm not gonna dye it or anything like that so we're gonna try our best to have longer hair for summer and then again I could just wear the halo whenever I would like which I like that a lot so if I ever go boating this summer and swimming, I don't have to wear my fake hair. I'll just wear my short hair and then I can go swimming and all that stuff. So we are excited about that. But I have some errands to run today. I filmed two TikToks already this morning and now I'm just getting ready and we're going to vlog today. I think I might even film a little mukbang. I might try Indian foods that I've never had before. I feel like that will be fun. I've been really loving doing the videos where it's like trying this that I've never had. They're just like lots of fun. And I also kind of want to go tanning. I know I like quit for like a whole year. But I just am so pale and I just want like a little bit of color. Like even if I just go tanning like a couple times a week for like 5 to 10 minutes. And I never burn, so it's like I don't see like how it could be that bad. Because if I lived in Florida, oh, I'd be laying out in the sun all day, every day. <laughs> no, not really, but you know what I mean. It's just like so cold here right now, and I just want like a little bit of vitamin D. And I heard doctors actually do recommend 
you a tanning bed if you have seasonal depression. So like, is it really that bad? <sighs> and then I think I'm gonna stop at Target. I have to get some groceries. I've been out of eggs for the longest time, which I feel like Costco might be the place to go for that. So I'm like, should I go to Costco? Maybe I'll go to Costco instead. Because I want to get like a big pack of eggs. I want to make these homemade Starbucks egg bites. So we'll do that later. Ooh, flashback Mary. Oh my gosh, I did way too much got on my new hair <sighs> well our face is gonna be extremely set today like I traveled with this so like all the powder came out of all the holes so now every time I dip my brush into it it just like gets so much on there but I want to make at home don't touch my hair thank you we got to keep this hair nice so Starbucks has those good egg bites and I want to make them at home you just make them in like a little cupcake tray and I want to do like 12 of them. And I think I'm going to put like bacon, sausage. I'll do a bunch of different ones. I think some with spinach and cheese and sausage would be really good. And then also maybe one with peppers and bacon. I'll have to like look at those Starbucks ones and see. But I guess you use eggs, some cottage cheese, and then cheese. And you put it in a blender. Which speaking of, I don't have a blender. So maybe that's something I should get at Target. Cause I've been, I've been needing to get a blender. I have a food processor. You think that would work the same? I know Costco has like good deals on Ninja blenders and stuff. So unless I do stop there. I just don't really need anything else. I feel like when you go to Costco, like it's not the place to go for just one thing. The store is so big and it takes you forever to go through it. Do I need toilet paper? I could always use more toilet paper. Maybe some like, mm, maybe I'll just go to Target. Cause like I need some cleaning supplies, just like a little Myers, or is it called Myers? Like that good spray soap. Like I just want like one of those. I don't need to get like a bulk pack of them. So I guess I'll just get like a couple dozen eggs at Target. Honestly, probably the same price. And then bacon and all that stuff to make egg bites at home. So I'm excited to do that. And then I believe you could just freeze it. So whenever you want it, you could just take it out of the freezer and microwave it. I never eat breakfast. I mean, sometimes I'll eat bagels and stuff if I have some from my mom because she always makes bagels. But I'm not one to typically eat breakfast. Like right now, it is 12. I have not ate yet. I'm very hungry, but I have no breakfast food. But like if I had those little egg bites pre-made, I'd for sure eat a couple of those in the morning just to get a little snack in me. Maybe eat them before the gym too for some protein. So, I'm excited to try and make them. Okay, my makeup is done. I'm going to spray my hair with this heat protectant by Kendra. Really get the ends, because that's like where I'm mainly gonna straighten. Because I feel like with the halo, you're gonna see my natural hair like curling inwards. Oh shit, what is in there? What is that? Gunk. That I just put in my hair. It's like Play-Doh. Did I like melt something on the ground? That's like sticky gunk. Okay, well, I have to turn that off and clean that. I didn't even notice that. Okay, hair is straightened. Let's try this again. I don't know what is all over my straightener, but I cannot get it off. It's like honey. It's like so sticky. So I just had to use like the very tip of my straightener. But hey, it worked. So I'm gonna try and make this like even so it stays in. You know, I didn't even read the instructions, but I'm pretty sure this is how you're supposed to do it. So then you take the hair and then just like that. And you just brush it out. Like, isn't that crazy? Like, that is so easy. And it works so good. 
And then as my natural hair even gets a little longer, it'll blend even better. But I think it blends pretty well. And it matches my natural hair good. My friend who does my hair, she helped me pick out the color that matches my natural hair. And I really liked the balayage. And she's like, if it doesn't match, we'll add like a few lighter strands like going up, like baby highlights, balayage, whatever. And I do like when it's like money pieces in the front. But I think it matches pretty well, actually, because this is my natural hair right here. And I feel like the color at this bottom half is similar to down there. So I love it. And... It'll definitely look even better curled, but I'm just going to leave it like this for right now. It feels so silky and it's still so new, so I'm just going to like let it be. But I just love the color so much and it feels so much nicer on my head than the sew-ins because it's like smooth. Like I could wear my hair in like a slick back pony if I wanted to and I just love it. All right, outfit of the daytime. So I decided to go with this bright colored sweater. I love this sweater. It's the popcorn sweater from Pink Lily. It is so, so comfy. And I'm not usually one to wear bright colors, but I do really like yellow. So my top is from Pink Lily. And then these jeans are also from Pink Lily. They're a baggier style, but I think it looks cute with it tucked in. And I do have a discount code with Pink Lily. It is Pappas20 for 20% off. I always have it down in my description. But here is the outfit. So let's go do some errands. You guys, I forgot to show you my finished bathroom. I just finished decorating it like a week or so ago. And I love it so much. It's my favorite bathroom. It's so pretty. So here is the final bathroom. Oh, isn't it just so pretty? So the color on the wall is called Gray Owl. And then this vanity I got at Home Depot. So pretty. And it's got all these different drawers. And then I got all the toilet paper stacked up down there with some sprays and lotions. I need to organize that better. But I just have a little room spray, a plant, a plug-in. This mirror is from Target. And then the light fixture is also from Home Depot. I need to get matching light bulbs. They're like all different colors. But yeah, that is the finished bathroom. Do you guys remember what it looked like before? It was like all blue and it looks so much bigger now with the vanity in here. And I'm so glad I did the black hardware with the marble because it matches the floor really well. And I was debating on just doing a solid white vanity or a matte black, but I think the wood just really breaks up the room and matches the place really well because my kitchen table is that color and lots of my other tables in the house, so all of it ties in together. I passed crumble cookies and this week had some flavors that I really, really wanted. Waffle, I love waffle. Look at that butter on top with the syrup you get. And then strawberry cupcake. Um, banana bread and chocolate with Reese's peanut butter chips. I believe that one is. So all good yummy flavors. I'm gonna do a little taste test of these for my TikTok and I will come back and let you guys know which one is my favorite. Okay, little update of what I thought of the cookies. You guys, 10 out of 10 week. These were all so good. The banana bread tastes like actual banana bread. Like it's like it's super spongy and moist. And then that one is like crispy, but with the melted peanut butter chips on the inside. So good. And then that one has the strawberry cream cheese icing. And I'm not usually like a huge fan of strawberry or like fruity flavored desserts, but that is so good. I love the flavor of that one. And then the waffle too. Amazing with the syrup. So I'm in Target looking at their new Valentine's Day stuff and they don't have too much in the dollar spot but look how cute these are for the kitchen table these little placemats and then also this i'm gonna put in my bathroom it's like a little red heart so then i got some cheetos extra flaming hot holy squishmallows i've never seen so many squishmallows in target before oh my god is that a grilled cheese no way Little Gouda. This is like the cutest one I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, I love it. Is there a bigger one? No, I think that's the same size. How cute. I have that little mushroom. 
The purple pop tart is adorable too. I wonder what this yellow one is. Oh, like a lemon sorbet. That's so cute too. I'm in the Valentine's Day section getting some heart cutouts and then also these molds. I might do those egg bites like heart shapes for February. And I'm getting some chocolates and some plates. Look how cute this squishmallow is. But I don't like how it's like a basket or like a purse. But that is so cute. They have them everywhere. There's more back here too but not that one. I've never seen an Olaf squishmallow before. This is adorable. Okay, we are home from Target, so let's do a haul. So I got myself a blender. Got a Nutribullet. I've heard good things about this blender, so I just went with a small little one. I got some vanilla yogurt. This kind is my favorite. I got this popcorn bowl. I think it was I think it's so cute. It was in the dollar section. I've been eating lots of popcorn as a snack lately at night, so I got some more and I got the extra butter. I need a new mascaras. These are my two go-tos. Then I got some heavy creams. And then I got some Valentine's Day stuff. This candle, I think it's so cute. And then I got a little gift bag, some chocolates. These are raspberry cheesecake flavor. And then I got a few plates, which I think will be so cute. I feel like I might have one of these now that I think about it. Or it might be a giant one. I think I might have like a really big one. But this will be cute if I do like a val Valentine's Day waffles or like just content for my Steph's Meals Instagram page too for around Valentine's. And then I like these placemats a lot. And then I got these as I showed in the store. I got the dog's new bones. They're all distracted with those right now. And then I also got this one, which I haven't given to them yet. Mochi wants this one. She loves these ones because she wants to play fetch. Hang on, Mochi. I got this Olaf Squishmallow and the grilled cheese. Like, I, I'm obsessed. This is so cute. And then I got two packs of organic eggs. They had a strawberry whipped cream that's gonna look so cute for like a Valentine's Day iced coffee. I got spinach, pepper jack, cottage cheese, and then I got fully cooked bacon and fully cooked sausage. So these are gonna be for the egg bites. And then I also just got some cream cheese. These are my favorite iced coffees. And then I got some extra flaming Hot Cheetos, this cute bath mat, which we'll try that out in the bathroom. And then these are the bones I got for the dogs. They're playing with them. I got two packs of these. They like the small puppy bones. Is that a new toy? You like it? Here's where I'm putting that bath mat. I think it looks so pretty in here. And the door goes over it, so. That is perfect. Okay, time to make these egg bites. So I just shredded up some pepper jack cheese. Okay, so we're doing six eggs. Next, I almost just broke off my whole nail. Okay, next we are doing a half a cup of cottage cheese. Then half a teaspoon of salt, and then a dollop of sriracha. And then we're gonna add in some cheese. All right, let's see how this blender works out. Um, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, so I chopped up some bacon, some sausage, and then some spinach. We are going to spray a pan with Pam. I think I'm gonna do about this size, make them a little bit bigger. Okay, I did some sausage and spinach at the bottom of these. Now I'm going to add the egg mixture on top. I'm going to make them about that size. I added a little more sausage and spinach on top. We have a little more mixture to do some more. These ones have bacon, sausage, and cheese. And that's how many that made. So I'm going to put these in the oven at 350 for like 20 minutes. And I'm also going to do a water bath beneath them. Since I have everything out, I decided I'm going to do one more tray of little mini ones. So I'm roasting up some red peppers for the miniature ones. Because I still have leftover cheese. So I used five more eggs. And I'm going to grind it up. 20 minutes later. Oh my goodness, you guys. These look amazing. Wow. Yummy. So cool. So the boiling water is supposed to make them more fluffy and like airy like Starbucks. So I'm going to let these cool off, but these look great. Okay, let's do a little taste test of a little roasted red pepper one. That is good. 
and it does taste like Starbucks. Like same texture. I'm excited for the big ones. I hope they're like fully cooked on the inside. They look like they are, but wow, these are good. Huh. Mm. Well guys, we are ending off this video where we started. Just doing my skincare for the night. And then I am going to take a bath and relax and watch the new Gypsy Rose documentary. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you'd like to see more vlogs, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.